Astra 3.7 was released recently and with it came a couple of new global features to help speed up and streamline your web design process. But what are they and are they any good? Well, how about we find out together? So let's start by taking a look at the new global typography tools and presets. So let's start by heading over into the appearance tab and into customize. Now, once you open that up, we're going to open up the global section and this is where the new options are. So if we open up global, you can see we have typography, colors, and buttons. These are the three key new features in Astra 3.7. Now this is in the free version and the pro version, so you don't need to be paying anything to get access to these features. So let's start off with the typography section. If we open this up, you can see we have lots of typography options inside here. We can go ahead and we can configure pretty much everything we want inside here. But where the real magic is inside this section are these presets. And these presets, which we have six of, allow us to very quickly and easily pull up designed font pairings. So if we choose this first option, that changes the key font pairings throughout the entire design. So you can see all the different sections on the site have now been updated with that font pairing. If we choose an alternative, again, you can see this now changes the font pairing throughout the entire site. Now the nice thing with this is you can still go ahead and carry on making changes to this. So if you want to change the body font family type, you can do that directly from inside here. So we might want to change that to something like this. And you can do exactly the same then for the line, the height, the weight, and so on, the heading font family. So again, we could change this if we wanted to. So you're not restricted to using these presets. You could use these as starting points, and then you could fine tune and tweak this on your design to get exactly what you want. And again, if we choose a different option, it will then override whatever we set up to use that option. So if you find you struggle with choosing good font pairings, this could be a great option to start off with. And while this can be really useful, a great starting point, which we can go ahead and tweak, I would like the ability to be able to save our own custom presets. Then we maybe have the option to export those to other sites so we could create a great collection of pre-designed font pairings that we like, and then we'll use those on any site using Astra. Now, next on the list of new global features are global colors. Now, you may be thinking that global colors aren't, well, nothing new in themes, and you would be right. But Astra has added a little twist. So access in the global colors palette is in the same location as the typography. We can just head into the global and this time we're going to choose the option for colors. Now inside there, you can see we have three predefined palettes. Underneath there, you've then got a selection of nine different colors. So each of these palettes can have a collection of nine different alternatives. All you need to do is simply come into whichever palette you want and start making changes. So for example, if you want to change this blue color, you can click on it and change it to whatever you wanted from there. That now becomes part of that color palette, which can affect the site globally. Now with your global colors in place, there's a couple of ways in which these can be used. If we take a look at the theme colors, the link color and so on underneath, you'll see the first three of these little color chips have the little global symbol inside there. These are referencing global colors from our palette. So if we make changes to this, for example, we'll change the blue to a green color, for example, you'll see that now updates the theme color chip and anywhere on our site that uses that color will also be updated. Let's set that back to blue and take a look at how we actually assign these global colors. So for example, if we come down to the text color, we click on the color chip. You can see that opens up the color picker. We can choose any color we want, or we can use any of our nine colors from our predefined color palette, our global color palette. So you might want to select this color, for example, we'll select that. The site will then reload and anywhere that references that color, for example, the text color will update and show accordingly. So for example, you can see groceries and so on, that's now picking up our new color. If you want to use one of the other global palettes, you can do that as well. All we need to do, come back out to the top, we'll choose this red one, for example. Now you can see our color palette updates and anywhere on our site that uses that color palette and any of those global colors will update accordingly. So for example, our button, which uses this base theme color, has also updated. If we change to palette three, you can see that changes to the green color. So anywhere they're being used will update when you change your color palette or you change one of your global colors. But it doesn't stop there. Let's just say you're using a page builder like Elementor. That's got its own global color settings. But what if you wanted to use your global colors from Astra theme? Can you still do that? Let's take a look. So here we are inside Elementor. Let's just select this button. Doesn't really matter what we select. It's more just as an example. Let's hop over to the style palette. And inside there, let's open up one of our color chips. Let's say the color for the background. We open up the global colors option inside here, which is where we can see all of the saved colors that are part of Elemental itself. We scroll down, you can see we have theme color one through nine. 
This is all of the theme colors that have been set up. So if you choose one of these colors and then you change it in your global color setting inside the Astra customizer, everything will update accordingly. So you can use the Astra themes global colors in conjunction with Elementor and not have to worry about having two completely different sets of global colors to manage. Pretty cool. Now, finally, we have global buttons. Now, not the most exciting feature, but one that can certainly come in handy when you want to make very quick changes across your entire website. Once again, let's open up the global panel and inside there, let's choose the third feature, which is the buttons feature. Now inside here, you can see we've got six different buttons, three lots of filled color buttons and three outline buttons. We've also then got all the options to configure exactly how they look. Now the button presets work in exactly the same way as the typography presets, they work. So in other words, we've got six different variations to choose from. So we might want all our buttons to have a slightly rounded corner. If we click that option, you can see now our shop now button has the rounded corner. If we scroll down and we've got these options, they all have the rounded corner and so on. If you wanted an outline version of this, you can simply click on the outline version and you can see everything updates accordingly. You can then also use this in conjunction with your global colors. So for example, the text color on here, you can select this and use one of your global colors. We'll select that, and boom, there's our global color that applied or we can choose the green color, for example, or the dark color, whatever you want to do. So you can use these in conjunction with each other and you can still go ahead and use these presets as a starting point and then you can tweak those buttons directly inside here to adjust the border radius, the border color, the font that's being used, any padding and so on. So there's lots of options on how you can set this up. And if you want to reset everything, you can just click on the little reset option and it puts it back to what you had prior to using these options inside the Astra customizer. Now you may be saying to yourself that Astra is simply copying the likes of Cadence or Bloxy, but you would be wrong. Global options just like headers and footers have been in themes for many years. Long before Astra, Cadence or Bloxy were even thought of, Look back at themes like Impreza from ThemeForest, which had a header and footer builder over seven years ago. And you'll see, they're not copying, they're just taking what's already out there, expanding upon it, streamlining it, and including it in their very popular themes. Now, if you want to find more on Astra, you can find links in the description below. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.